Hello, Dr. Larry here. I hope you're doing well today. So I have um, some messages. I'm going to tap into uh, source and see what comes up for today. So the first thing that I'm getting is that they're showing me water. They're sh and they're saying the tides are shifting. Okay, so it feels like the energy of the planet, of the consciousness, has shifted. And what they mean by that is that there's a, a critical mass of people um, on the planet that have woken up, that have been able to see through the, the veil of illusion. And when that happens, the, they're going to be carrying the energy of the planet, okay? So it, like, it kind of like tipped the scales, whereas the last, I don't know, many eons, <laughs> um, we've been in this, this form of control and manipulation and uh, dark energy of controlling. And, um, you know, it's no, no secret that we are ascending into a higher state of consciousness. But what they're telling me is that the tides have shifted. So now what you're going to be seeing um, on the, the out, out picturing of humanity, uh, a lot more people standing up for themselves, uh, a lot more protests, and it's going to be um, more in the mainstream media. People are going to be starting to cover it because people in the mainstream media that were kind of pawns in all of this, they've woken up and they have seen what is happening. So that's what's happening on like the outer level. So what might be happening within you right now is you may be finding yourself standing up for yourself. You may find yourself in situations that are calling you to be your more authentic self. And when that happens, there can be disturbances in relationships uh, with coworkers or, or whatever, because it feels like many of us have been told to don't rock the boat. Okay, a lot of stuff with water today. Uh, don't, we've been told to don't walk, rock the boat, meaning don't say anything, keep the peace, you know, don't upset everybody, swallow your feelings. And what we're realizing now, it's like, no, like that's not being my authentic self. I need to express who and what I am, but I can do it in a kind and loving way. Okay, and with that, what they're also saying is that, <laughs> um, you know, many people are like, when's it going to go back to normal? When is it going to settle down? And things are just really starting to get exciting now <laughs> on the outer level and on the inner level. So you may be feeling uh, your emotions may be a little bit more intense. Your dreams may be a little bit more vivid. And that is part of um, coming alive. And they just showed me like this, this rose that just like, started to bloom. So within the next uh, year, within we'll just stay within this year for now, um, you're going to find yourself with this rose that you are and it's going to start to open. It's going to start to bloom. Now, whether that is uh, the way you show up in relationships or uh, the way you show up in your healing work, whatever it is, like this is the time uh, to nurture that. Okay, nurture that and just witness the unfolding of your life and where you're going. Um, and also they're saying to do your best to let go of expectations of where you think you should be and what you should be doing and really do your best to not compare yourself with anybody because everybody has their own path and every flower blooms at the right time. Okay, so don't be so hard on yourself thinking that you should be further along or you should have more followers or you should be in a relationship. Like if you can do that to just let that go and just allow yourself to be more in the moment and enjoy these times right now. Because when you let go of the expectation of the future and the way you think it should look, it's like you have blinders on and that's the only way that you want it to be. It doesn't give the universe a whole lot of room to work. 
and sometimes you know the universe has bigger plans for you than what you can conceive and it has all of these answers out here but you're looking for this right here you have this tunnel vision and so what they're saying is take those blinders off let go of the expectation of how you think things should look and allow life to flow in and be open and receptive to the opportunities that come to you and the word for this month is yes okay so if anybody asks you to do something yes i can do that if they ask you to give them some healing and the, your monkey mind is like i don't know if i can heal them yes i will do that for you okay without expectation if someone asks you to be on a podcast yes if someone says oh i have an opportunity for you to go check out this job or this uh interview yes Okay, yes, yes, yes. Now is the time to step into the yes mentality of your life and to let go of expectations and the fear of how things might turn out, okay?